Okay, uh, just to, a little update on what's happened with the sauce. Tomato sauce, what did we do, Ange? <laughs> what did I do? What did you do? <laughs> um, unfortunately, I haven't got a proper canner, but lovely big pot. Um, in the bottom, I don't know if you want to come and have a, a, a quick look, but there's a trivet in the bottom because this gets boiled um, once the jars are filled with water, with water, with the saucy stuff. Yeah. Plopped in there and water level, then it, I top it up to make sure it covers the lids. And uh, then they, my favourite special, jowdle away and that seals them. And while they're sealing, these, these lids pop down and as I've got five jars, we were like, oh, there goes one because we went pop. So these have been in and I've just left them cool down now. So these are all ready to go in our pantry for storage. But we'll definitely use at least a couple of these for Saturday's pizzas. Yeah, cool. So everyone, quick update on the uh, pizza recipe, pizza dough recipe, right? So we've got, this is the mix. This is a, a kilo of flour, and a kilo of water. Yeah, and now I've got another half a kilo of flour and I've put in on top of this you can see there's uh, 20 grams of salt in that so I'll give that a mix and then put it in there and stick it in the mixer for 10 minutes or so okay just continuing with the pizza thing you just saw it mixing so I plopped out on the countertop with a bit of uh, countertop you and me on the worktop uh, with a bit of flour on it and I'm going to now divide it up into uh, 250 gram balls. Ish. Yeah, 250 grams is how much? I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> so as you can see, it's had a good mix, so it's nice and strong. Yeah? Which is exactly what we want with our pizza, pizza balls. Some more flour. <coughs> okay, so we can just leave it like that and just uh, guess how big 250 grams is going to be. There. <coughs> right, so I've got three Tupperware tubs uh, and we can use these for proving the dough in, yeah? So it's it's about six hours before we want to eat, which is good. This is our own, obviously, extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just scoop this around the inside a bit. stops you having a big mess when you when you finish with it. so the balls themselves <laughs> right, I do this is like I'm no expert I generally just keep them the way up they are so they've got a bottom and a top yeah and just make them into balls basically I know like fancy um, pizza makers squeeze them and make yeah it's all fancy but <clears throat> it can't do fancy I just do that make the balls because they will in no way resemble balls after they've been proved anyway. <laughs> no, they certainly don't. So a lovely bready sort of doughy smell. Mm. This is, uh, I don't know, this is the way I've been doing it since we've had our own pizza oven here 
and it always works for us so there we go so 10 balls what I do now is just put a bit of this stuff olive oil on my hands and then just do the same and then we'll pop them in the proving containers This sort of seals them and stops them drying out, basically. Yeah. Because you need uh, you need your pizza balls nice and moist. I'm not going to say anything. You know, we've had that's been proven since Thursday in the fridge. Yeah, it's now it's now Saturday. It's now twelve o'clock Saturday. Yeah, so we're going to start eating them at six o'clock, is say. So a five-hour proving uh, in the open air. Yeah, we'll come back to the we'll come back to these uh, in five hours. Directly. Directly. So we've had the. Uh, Dough sat out for six, five, six hours now. Um, and I said they would be indistinguishable. <laughs> indistinguishable. That's yeah. That's why. So what we're going to do is just tip these out here onto a floured surface, and uh, we because they're heavily we, oiled. We oiled the sides of the tin so they actually come out. Yeah, believe it or not, that's three. We can um, we can sort that out in a minute. That's lovely three three pizza bases, basically all stuck together. Yeah. Um, so so now all we have to do is find where they are. But turn them over. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So we have one here. Be really stringy, and then two there. You can see where they are, basically. Put a flour on them, and then we just need to work them out into a pizza base. Yeah, simple stuff. There we go. And then what we can do is all this stuff. Because <coughs> I'm really crap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, just do just do the normal. No, I can just eke it out. Eke it out is what I like to say. Hunting dog. In yes, the yes, he's been playing ball lots. Yeah. So, basically, guys, look. Doesn't matter what shape it is. We're not <laughs> just you know, as well. We're, we're not. <laughs> we're not into perfection, but yeah. Nice thin, crispy in the middle, and uh, that will be the shape you get. So we'll do that several times until we get. Full of pizza. Full of pizza. We keep doing that. We keep adding toppings. You're supposed to roll them over the back of your hand and all that jazz like this. And yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. It sort of works, but I'm not that good yet. But pizzas. Ta -da. Yeah, just bread dough. You put stuff on top and make pizzas. That's what we're going. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, the pizzas were awesome by the way. Uh, thanks for your support on the last video. Glad Angie's home. Um, yeah, she's looking much better and uh, off the pain medication, which is, you know, she takes a couple of paracetamol a day, which is awesome. Anyway, today, whew, lots of uh, different tasks. So I'll show you what, um, what I'm up to today. So here we have Priscilla and Elvis. Yeah, Elvis, thank you. Uh, and I've got problems with the electric fence. Um, where the grass is growing up here. Like now we've had rain, the grass is growing up really quick. 
So where the grass is growing up, it's earthing against the fence and um, it's not working as good as it should be, yeah? I've got to give this orange something to feed as well. It's not looking terribly healthy now, so... Anyway, back to the fence. Uh, so I'll get the strimmer and a couple of little blocks of um, concrete just to keep the, the fence off the ground so I can strim underneath it. So here's a little grass strimmer and a couple of blocks. So here we go. I've moved the generator unit to this corner because um, our friend Elvis there has a habit of walking up beside you on the fence and trying to attack you through the fence. I've got a still shot of him. Just here, tangled up in it because uh, he thinks he, he's uh, an absolute urgent need to protect his woman but um, yeah so that's all done no more earthing out fences on and yeah working I'm not going to touch it because I absolutely hate shops but there we go and this little device here this circular device is uh, for when we clean out Elvis's uh, poop from his, from his house poop yeah um, we put this cage around him so I'll show you, it's really easy to do. Hang on. So here he is. Um, what we do is tip this up and wait for him to come towards you. He's got a bit stuck. Hang on. And then we just pop it over him. Like so. Yeah, because he does get a bit aggressive. But uh, <laughs> that contains him long enough to. so we can clean out their food and then. Um, let me just take it off again. Hang on, I'll show you taking it off. So walk around you. Yeah, see? Really simple, but it works. You sound so sweet. And then we just take it off like that. <laughs> see, he's following me. And then we put the fence back on. Yes. So, as you can see, I've had to take my sweatshirt off because it's uh, forecast rain today. This doesn't look like much like rain. So they forecast rain and it's 25 degrees, which is in the 90s. Uh, so, just going to show you my next job, which isn't far away. So, in the shade of the tree, which is lovely, uh, our next job is something we've had a load of comments about thank you so much for the comments um, we didn't really know how to deal with it we've sort of we liked it as it was we've bit the bullet and we're gonna do what uh, a lot of you have been saying in the comments for so thanks for those fantastic so here we are we're gonna tackle this beast because you want to get well it's just early spring I'm gonna get some of the pups out from underneath her and uh, yeah and replant them elsewhere and we think maybe this year maybe next year these are supposed to, these um, agave are supposed to flower every seven or eight years, I think. And when they flower, they die, obviously. Um, we've been here three years and it's been that size since we've been here. We think it's, yeah, it's getting on to flowering next year, so. 
we'll have a hack away at this and uh, see if we can get some pups out. Okay everyone, here we are. So we're gonna tackle that baby. And we've got essentially gloves and an assortment of, we've got a bow saw, a couple of uh, small pruning saws, a little hatchety type of thing, which I would call a billhook, and, um, and obviously a big butcher's knife. I have no idea why, but <coughs> I don't know what's gonna cut these best, so let's give it a go. So there we have it, that was hard work. Uh, as you can see, looking a lot better now. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, so as you can see, um, a lot better now. I've cleared out most of the pups, there's still a few around that side, but. So I think she'll benefit from that. And hopefully uh, she'll last a couple years longer. I know she's gonna flower soon, I swear. I'd say we have more than a thousand pups <laughs> from her, so. Yeah, there are these, and most of these I pulled off the roots, so they're not so good. This one, I've got a bit of root on it, hoping 
it'll be good because it's <coughs> quite a large one. And these two have got roots, so good candidates for replanting very, very soon. So what I'm going to do now is go in the kitchen. Yeah, so uh, back up to the kitchen. Have a nice ice cold drink. Not beers, middle of the day. And see what Angie's up to. So that's uh, the position of our massive agave. In amongst all these lovely blue, purple irises, we got white ones as well. And we got an apricot tree here, which was covered in flowers about two weeks ago. And now we've got these, this massive quince tree, which has all just come out in beautiful flowers. So here we are, coming back up. Let's see what Angie's doing. Convalescing, of course. Hello, you. Hello. What are you up to? Oh. A certain somebody in this household has been suggesting rather oftenly, if that's such a word, <laughs> oh, I can't get brown sauce over here. Yeah. So I have found a recipe. I'm going to give it a go. So, what recipe is it? HP Parliament sauce, I do hope. <laughs> so that HP is... brown sauce stands for How's the Parliament I know. brown sauce. So. I don't like the stuff. I think it's a Victorian thing, isn't it? Oh, I, I think know. it dates back. Yeah, right, so what have you got there? Chaos, <laughs> as usual, in my cupboard. But it's a recipe that I've <coughs> found. I thought that even just cutting the apples, it smells really good. <laughs> So basically just chop everything up, throw it in the pan and bring it to the boil and let it jowdle. Let, let it jowdle for a while and then that's it. Well, not quite. Okay. One has to then blend it. Yeah. Um, and because with 90% of it, I think this might make more than one jar. jar. Yeah. So I shall do as I do with everything else. I've got the pan ready there with water already in it. Um, we'll sterilise the jars and uh, they'll be good for ages yeah then you should at least have a supply for a week okay so we have uh, two or three pretty large agaves that have just dug out the real big pups and um, just down from the moon gate uh, in by the big uh, what we call polar bear rock um, probably going to put one in here just so I've only just dug it up, so we might as well get it in the ground as quick as we can. So there we go. Uh, the bigger one didn't have much roots on it, so I put it there. It's a bit sheltered by the rock. Um, don't hold out much hope for it, to be honest, but we'll see how it goes. And then the other one had lots of root on it, so <coughs> that one's there. Yeah, they should grow up to be quite pretty, just like Mummy. Anyway. That's that little job done. Loads more to go. How's it going, brown sauce girl? Do you know what? I mean, uh, I'm laughing because it's weird. It smells like brown sauce. I've only just sort of started to stir everything with the, the heat. So as you can see, nothing's jowdled down properly or anything. But there's a definite brown sauce smell about it. So Awesome. Awesome. What have you done? Well, I've done nothing. Miracles of modern, or not modern, but alchemy. <laughs> that looks like brown sauce nearly. No, it doesn't. It looks like lumpy uh, bits of lumps of fruit in, in, <laughs> in vinegar. <laughs> so I what are you going to do now? I'm going to give it a, a, a blitzen. Okay. After blitzing, so at the moment it is a bit runny. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just reduce it down a little bit in a minute. 
try and be reducing that to a nice thick consistency. Oh, guys, I'll tell you what, I mean, Anne doesn't eat brown sauce, do you? Nope. I do. I and <laughs> it's exactly like HP I, sauce. I'm just amazed it even looks, because when I've had the, especially with the onions, the sugar and the apples, I didn't think there was enough prunes in it to make it look, but that looks like brown sauce. It's, it smells yeah. like brown sauce. So. Cool. Well, what's on, mate? <laughs> what's on? Bottling up your stuff. Right. So HP sauce. Homemade in Portugal sauce. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks looks the job. It tastes lovely. Right. So I've just got those are the little claws. So obviously clean jars and I'm just going to ladle all that in. And I'm using jars because as opposed to a bottle or especially um, a squeezy bottle. A sque well, well, a plastic squeezy one wouldn't take the hot stuff anyway. As I, I made that mistake when I did some golden syrup and it sort of distorts the... So but this, will sh you'll just have to scoop it out with a spoon. Yeah. Or stick your chips in it. Yeah. It off or whatever. Well, it looks pretty saucy. Saucy. Cool. So that was not a bad guess. We're We'll use that one first. But the most important thing is of, is to make sure that your your rims are clean. So I just get a bit of kitchen towel. And make sure that everything there is hot. Which is good. So it's three, four hundred gram jars. Of yeah, I mean, give or take a little bit. I don't know what that is off the top of my head in old money. So as I've got the lids in the thing here. Right. So with these, I put the lids on. Recycled lids, recycled jars. Um, I still need to source some brand new lids at some stage. Um, we thought we found some in our local town, but they're like three mil too big. Yeah. It's really, they looked, uh, thankfully I only picked up 10 and they're only 10 cents each, so it wasn't too bad. But these now, you don't tighten this up too much. These will go into the water. Um, I'll bring the water level up to cover the lids. I'll do that now. So, there's obviously a fair bit of water to go in here. And I'll just Nowhere near enough. Sorry? Nowhere near enough. No, I know, but I knew yeah, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. warmer. So we just cover the lids. And let that, that sterilises it then, so that will be completely shelf stable if uh, Nick suddenly decides that he doesn't like brown sauce anymore. So how long do they go in there for? That'll, I need to bring that up to the boil and for 10 minutes and then let it cool down. Just leave the jars in there while it cools down? Yeah, I, because I haven't got a, 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 an official can or anything, I haven't got anything to take those out easily. Okay, um, something else I'm going to have to make or...? No, you, you can't make something oh, like Would that. you challenge me? Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I mean, I can get my sort of glovesy things yeah, yeah, yeah. you end up getting hot, wet gloves. And okay, cool. So HP, HP brown sauce. HP is? Houses, oh no, handmade in Portugal. But, <laughs> I was just going to say as well, the, the great thing about this, it, you know when they've sealed because they'll pop. So yeah. they, they've got the little poppy lids on them that, as they go, and they go. Cool. Yeah. 
Okay, what are you doing? Oh, I've just taken out the little jars of brown sauce. Handmade in Portugal sauce? <laughs> so they've, well, that's, hopefully should last Nick a week or two. So yeah, well, this, um, this will be, this is breakfast fodder, guys, because, you, you know, oh. all you guys that love HP sauce will know You've got to have HP sauce on your poached eggs or your scrambled eggs or your sausages or your bacon in the morning. Yeah, so a nice fried breakfast, HP sauce on it. So there we go. And so that one was the one that's a little bit, actually it's not much. No, no, pretty much the same. I didn't do too bad there for, for guesswork with the things. So on that note, cool. I think we'll finish, don't you? And there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, thank, uh, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. HP sauce is lovely, by the way. Uh, for you Americans that have never tried it, might be a few of you, uh, it's awesome. It's really nice stuff. Spicy and fruity. Mm, HP sauce, give I it a try. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes. And um, hope you're still enjoying the two videos a week. Um, we're going to try and do a recipe every week, probably Tuesdays, and I'll do a bit more... Uh, construction and buildy stuff and how to make things uh, on Fridays. We try and keep it like that. Try and you know get a bit organised and but stuff. But you know us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm back for a update at the hospital on Thursday. So hopefully uh, all's going well. I don't do my so how are you feeling? Um, the the actual hip itself is feeling really good. Isn't uh -huh. it? So I've got like a weird muscly thing going on, but uh, it's all. Yeah, but realistically, you haven't used those muscles for. A while because you've years. been limping on one <laughs> side, haven't you? So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching again, and um, yeah, keep sending your lovely comments. We, we, yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. And hopefully, I know Frankie on the road beat us to ten thousand, but let's 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 beat <laughs> let's beat them to twenty. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.